Hi there folks, it's Mark Barnes here and today I'm making a quick video to show people how to access the custom programs that I provide in my sound banks for the chord wave state. So everyone seems to be happy enough and with the performances but they want to get in about and mess about with the individual programs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm starting with an, an initialised performance. The usual. So we press performance and then if we press page plus it takes us on to the program that's currently in layer A and then if we turn the volume knob so I'm going to select one from my volume 5 and I like this particular program that I made in this collection and it's called Tron Collage okay so you can preview any program in this menu okay so I'll go back to that one Tron Collage and then I'll press enter and now that program is loaded into layer A. Okay, so now if I want to load another program along with that, I press the button for layer B and make sure my cursor, eh, my cursor is on layer B where it says in that program, I'll need to Turn on layer B. So you can hear now the init programs going along with the Tron Collage program. So I'll again move into MB territory. I'll take another one from volume 5. Careful not to move it too fast. So there's a patch there called Triangle Arp and if I hit enter now you'll hear it's not doing any arpeggiation and that's because the arp settings are only stored with the performance so if I turn the arp on Right, and I'm going to edit that ARP a bit. So first of all, I'll change it to alternating. I'll change the timing resolution to an eighth note. And I'll make it over maybe four octaves, see how that sounds. Maybe a bit too high, make it two octaves. Okay, and now I find the ARP a bit loud, so I can hit performance, and if I press page plus, it's got a decibel level, so if I press plus again, and keep going, and I can turn the volume of the triangle ARP down a bit, Let's see how that sounds. Okay, so I would quite like another layer on that, maybe to thicken up that pad sound a bit. So I'm going to turn off layers A and B and press on layer C and I'm going to look for a kind of thick pad sound. So, so maybe... OK, 
fucking let's see this one so that that sounds quite boring but i don't want to overdo the movement and there's quite a lot of movement and other pad sounds let's see how that sounds together okay and that's nice and i press program and i'll turn on that so three layers together okay Okay, I'm going to go into this layer B, the ARP, and I'm going to change the pattern to random and see how that sounds. Now that's nicer. Okay. And if I press performance, now we've got three layers together. I find the ARP still a little too loud, so I'm going to press plus along. I'm going to turn up the first pad sound, the Tron Collage, a couple of dB, and I'm going to pull the ARP down another 3 dB. Let's see. So you can see very quickly, I've took the programs that I've provided and I've made a completely new performance from the ones provided. Let's just finish this off by adding a little bit of reverb to that. So if I hit reverb and there's one particular preset I really like and it's this one, Sizzling Strings. So hit that on okay let's try now Okay, so I hope that's of some help to people. Some people have been getting in contact um, asking me, saying, we love we love the performances, but we've no idea how to actually um, access your programme. So there's a demonstration of how you can make a new performance. Obviously, you could add a fourth layer as well. And what one thing I'll show you, we can then go to right, and then we could make this a new performance that we save so I'll just go into here and I'll just start it with MB and I'll make I'll make it tutorial okay that that'll do it So, because you can't overwrite the niche part, you need to press shift right to save as new. And if I go into my performance list, so now we should have MB Tutor performance, and we can get that back at any time.